So if you're new to incubating eggs, hopefully this second short clip of five about our mini eco incubator will give you the information you need about getting started and how to check the temperature. So firstly, take your mini eco out of its box. Always keep the box somewhere safe. If ever you need to send the, uh, the incubator back for repair or for service, it's always best to send it back in its original box. You get some important instructions in the box. Make sure you read them. So let's have a look what we've got. Lid, power supply unit, the base for the incubator, and here are the instructions. Along with the instructions, you get a little card to remind you to remind you that you have a three year warranty if you register your product on the Brincy website. So do that straight away. Uh, you'll need the serial number to do that, which is on your box, but is also on the underside of your lid, on a little white sticker, which you should probably see there if I hold that like that. So when you set your incubator up, do it in a room which doesn't have wide temperature variations. Ideally, choose a room where temperature remains between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade and never allow the temperature to drop below 17 degrees centigrade. Now that can happen on a cold night and particularly if you're keeping your incubator in a shed. Also, always keep the incubator away from direct sunlight. For example, don't put it in front of a kitchen window. You'd be surprised how much heat is generated by light coming in through a kitchen window. Insert the Brincy power adapter and plug in the machine uh, and always stick to a Brincy power adapter. There are plenty of dodgy Chinese imported adapters on eBay that claim to be Brincy uh, and those really should be avoided. So let's take the adapter out. Okay, I'm going to plug the adapter into the little socket here in front. Let's click that in there. Okay. When you first put the incubator on, you'll get a little red light which will come on continuously and that tells you that the uh, incubator is warming up. As the incubator approaches its target temperature, that light will switch to a flashing red light. So the best way to show you that is just to bring the camera forward if I can. There we go. Okay. Right, so I'm going to plug the incubator in now. You should see the red light go on and you should start to hear the fans going. The temperature in the Mini Eco is controlled electronically. Um, it has a traditional thermometer on the underside of its lid to monitor temperature with. Let's move the camera back. So let's have a look at that thermometer again. So you've got a traditional thermometer and you'll hear the fan going as I bring this up traditional thermometer inside there, which you can see through the uh, see-through cover of the, uh, of the incubator. We always recommend that you make sure the incubator has run for an hour or two before you start placing eggs in it, so that it's had a chance to stabilise the correct temperature, and so that you're confident uh, also about the environment you've set it up in. Now, if for some reason you decide that you want to adjust the temperature on this incubator, um, there is actually a small hole uh, just next to the power inlet socket um, with a little screw inside it that can be rotated with the right kind of screwdriver. By adjusting the screw by about a quarter of a turn, it gives you about a two degree centigrade change. So if you are gonna make adjustments to it, always make small adjustments and allow 30 minutes for the temperature to stabilize. Make sure you only use a two millimeter straight bladed screwdriver um, and insert it very gently. If you try to use the wrong screwdriver, you'll end up pressing too hard and you'll probably damage the adjustment unit and you'll invalidate the warranty. I have an example of a two millimeter screwdriver here just to give you some indication of what I'm talking about. And perhaps if I do that up close, you can see what I'm talking about. So, 
that's it really. Once it's up and running and you've started putting eggs in, check the temperature reading on the thermometer daily just to make sure things are going as they should. And the next clip I'll do will tell you a bit more about the humidity on the Rinseed Mini Eco.